Now, if you're observant, uh, you will have noticed that we've designed the front part of our, uh, our app. It's already this is the front, the user interface of our app. But what of the back end? What if we wanted to pull out a list of posts or something? Then, of course, we use Firebase. And um, in this story, I'll show you how to add Firebase to your application. So, to add it, we have to do um, npm install. Firebase save. So this is a way to add Firebase to our application. Then you hit enter. Before you do this, always make sure that you are in this folder. Very important. Uh, if you're not in this folder, anything you're doing is not uh, it's not going into your project. So you hit enter, and um, of course it will do the usual download and blah blah blah. blah. At the end, we have to install type pins into this project again. So um, wait for this to continue to finish. I'm going to pause this video and then continue afterwards. So we are done. That didn't take time. And the next thing we want to install is typings. Install save Firebase. So we are installing typings for Firebase. Then we hit enter. So once these two things are done, uh, we are good to go. So I'm going to pause this video as usual, and once the uh, installation is up and done, we'll continue after that. So it's completed, and uh, don't forget that you might be getting some warnings that which you have to just neglect. In this tutorial, we'll just try and create a login page. So we'll say Ionic G, that is for generate a page login. We just need the login page. Seriously, sorry, I had an error in my um, command, so that's ionic, ionic g login, and that's once that is done, we we'll try and create another page for reset password, and oh, remember this guy. So ionic g um, reset password, reset password, hit enter. And then we have two extra pages that we've created. Now, the next thing we have to do is to um, head over to our folder. And um, first of all, confirm that our reset password and our login pages have been created. Now, we need to import it. You head over to your app.ts. Inside this folder, we remember this folder is what controls your entire app. Uh, here you have your tabs page. Remember, I told you the tabs page is this page that has the page that has these guys. Now we'll see we'll see it for down the tutorial. Then uh, we have to import uh, our login page. Login page. A login page from uh, login uh, from pages. Sorry, the folder called pages. Inside that folder, you will see a another folder called login then you will see the file login.cs that we're looking for uh, let me just show you what just happened here we open this folder and this file and imported this class and then when you go to telling it that you should import it from uh, pages uh, login and from this guy here so when you open this guy here, you will see that it's exporting a class called login page. So our login.ts uh, file is exporting login page and from app, we're importing the login page. So uh, this is the concept, it, the Ionic uh, two functions with. Uh, for every new page, if you want to use the, the class of another page, you just have to import it even if you want to redirect maybe there's a button on this page you want to click you want your users to click to redirect you have to import this page first or whatever page you're redirecting to now we have this we have to so the next thing we are going to import into our app.ts is firebase itself so we import um, everything as firebase from firebase so once we have this done, the next thing we want to do is to enter our Firebase uh, login details. As you can see, 
the root page is the home page so if you say uh, in ionic 2 this is where the home page is being set when your app first opens what shows up this is it the home page the root page which is the tabs page but then we're going to show a home page depending on whether the user is logged in or logged out so first of all we we add our uh, um, firebase today so we head over to firebase and um, right there in firebase if you click on alt remember here you click on alt and um, it will show up and we see setup signing method if you click ok so we have to enable a signing method here and um, the first one we enable is this people can log in with their email and password we enable it say ok then we enable google sign in uh, we'll say ok save you have other ones you have github you have twitter you have facebook and um, once we are done with that we we'll click on web setup as you can see we just click on web setup it gives us a code that we have to paste into our app and um, we copy the code we're going to copy this guy up to this point so with this code now we'll put it right into our app there we are on our app so we'll click we'll paste it inside the constructor of your app.ts inside the constructor inside here and you click on i'm going to comment this guy out so we'll paste it here our firebase login credentials yours the numbers here will be different for everybody yours might be different okay so the next thing we want to do is to check um when the user is logged in a different page should show up when the user is logged out a different page should show up so this is how we we'll write the code we'll write uh firebase so what we have here is um we have firebase dot and um we have on alt state changed once you have user you're going to have um, this guy then uh, we have a promise return so inside here sure that's when we start checking if actually a user is logged in um, make sure that the root page which is the home page is uh, which home page should we use uh, which page should we use at home as a whole let's say posts posts page remember we need to import posts page we just have to come here and say um, let's call it that let's just use that page so if the user is logged in um, make sure that the home page is the tabs page but else if the user is not logged in let the home page be the login page all right uh, make sure the this this is the login page we just imported here all right and um, that being said we can delete this guy here so as you can see we've sorted out um, our application and uh, once your server is running if you are editing something it will be updating itself so if you click r well 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 oops we have an error somewhere as you can see and um, once once your oh, command prompt is running and um, your server is running that if you if you have an error you would see it on your command prompt as you can see on in app.ts on line 34 we have an error so we have to go back to our code uh, app.ts and then we'll scroll to line 34 and then confirm the error that we have yes of course we have an error somewhere here um, this is supposed to be this error so we save once we save as you can see the um, the server will run by itself again and our app will show up all right otherwise you can just refresh by clicking on r and hitting enter 
as you can see the the page is reloading and then when it's done we are actually show up here there we are as you can see the user is not logged in and automatically the code we wrote here has taken place so this is the page the login page is the page that is displaying since the user is not logged in so in the next tutorial we'll continue with building a login page so thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel you visit youtube.com slash c slash brainteam.org and you pan to the right and you hit on the subscribe button thank you see you in the next video tutorials